In recent times, Europe has witnessed summer temperatures exceeding 46 degrees Celsius, while South Africa experienced uncharacteristic snowfall, with temperatures plummeting to minus 10 degrees Celsius. Some scientists are advising preparations for intense heat waves, while others are forecasting the onset of a new ice age or a significant cooling period lasting millions of years. Over its 4.5 billion year history, Earth has seen cyclical ice ages, hinting at the potential for another severe cold spell in the near future. Is the Earth on the brink of freezing over once more? What concerns does this pose for humanity? Before we explore these questions, be sure to hit that subscribe button to show your support for this channel. It may come as a surprise, but Earth is currently in the early stages of an ice age. Fortunately, we are not presently experiencing the full brunt of it. Instead, we find ourselves within a geological phase characterized by relatively warmer global average temperatures known as an interglacial period. However, when this interglacial period concludes, we can expect a return to significantly colder conditions. The timing of this transition remains a subject of research, as scientists investigate past glacial epochs for clues. Revelations about climate change hundreds of millions of years ago have emerged through the examination of sediment and rock records. Based on this data, researchers have determined that the first Huronian Ice Age commenced roughly 2.4 billion years ago. During this era, the Earth received approximately 15% less sunlight than its current levels. This led to a prolonged freezing period on Earth, lasting nearly 300 million years. The next Ice Age, known as the Cryogenian, proved to be notably harsh, representing the most extreme cold period in Earth's history. This frigid epoch commenced around 720 million years ago. During this time, even at the equator, temperatures rarely exceeded a bone-chilling minus 20 degrees Celsius. The rest of the world experienced a new norm of temperatures at or below minus 50 degrees Celsius. Scientists speculate that even the Earth's oceans may have frozen completely, reaching the ocean floor. At the polar regions, dry ice in the form of solid carbon dioxide accumulated atop the water ice. When viewed from space, our planet likely resembled an enormous snowball. A return of cold conditions occurred during the Paleozoic Era, known as the Andean Saharan Ice Age, which commenced approximately 450 million years ago and persisted for about 30 million years. But it was nothing compared to the Cryogenian. During this period, Glaciers, some as massive as 3 kilometers in thickness, occasionally extended into subtropical latitudes. Overall, the temperatures were only marginally cooler than those experienced today. However, this relatively milder ice age eventually culminated in a catastrophic event known as the Great Dying or the Permian Extinction, which stands as the most extensive mass extinction event in Earth's history. According to one hypothesis, the thawing of the Earth as this ice age concluded triggered a phenomenon termed a methane hydrate bomb. As frozen methane in the ground warmed, it was released into the atmosphere on a colossal scale, displacing a significant portion of oxygen. This disruption led to the extinction of 70% of terrestrial species and a staggering 96% of marine life forms. Currently, the Earth finds itself in an interglacial period known as the Holocene Epoch, which has endured for the past 11,700 years. The most recent severe glaciation period began roughly 110,000 years ago and concluded around 9,700 to 9,600 years ago. Following this glacial phase, a thaw ensued marking the end of the Little Ice Age, a particularly frigid period that persisted from the 14th to the 19th century. Little Ice Age represented the coldest period in the past two millennia. Around this time there was a slowdown in the Gulf Stream. The change in ocean currents led to harsh European winters with unusual cold spells, causing freezing of gardens and crop devastation due to cold spring rains. By 1350 AD, the Great Famine emerged, lasting for two decades. By the late 19th century, 
a warming trend commenced, which continues to this day. However, it's worth noting that periods of intense glaciation tend to recur approximately every 10,000 years. As a result, time may be running out on our current interglacial period, leading some scientists to predict the possibility of a significant cooling phase in the near future. Scientists continue to investigate the factors behind global cooling, and one significant contributor they've identified is a decrease in solar flare activity. As solar activity wanes, the Earth receives less heat and light from the sun, resulting in a drop in temperatures. To test this hypothesis, American physicist Robert Ehrlich constructed a computer model to simulate solar plasma behavior. Remarkably, his model revealed that these solar fluctuations align with the periodic occurrence of ice ages on Earth. Another critical factor is the Earth's orbital variations and axial tilt, as elucidated in the astronomical model of ice ages put forth by Serbian scientist Milutin Milankovic. This model calculates the variations in the Earth's axial tilt due to the gravitational forces exerted by the Moon and other planets in the solar system. These variations occur in cycles of approximately 26,000 and 41,000 years, along with changes in the Earth's orbit, which operates on a 93,000-year cycle. The Earth's orbit isn't perfectly circular, it follows an elliptical path, bringing it closer to and farther from the Sun over time. Milankovic's model demonstrates that during periods of maximum distance from the Sun, combined with minimal solar activity, the Earth receives 5 to 10 percent less heat. This, coupled with increased axial tilt, leads to expanded glacier coverage. These glaciers, acting as reflective surfaces, bounce more of the sun's rays back into space, further cooling the planet and perpetuating the growth of glaciers over millions of years. So how is another ice age possible when temperatures on Earth are only rising, glaciers are constantly melting, and mankind is actively fighting global warming? It's important to consider that we've released an unprecedented amount of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, which has thus far acted as a kind of buffer restraining the advance of glaciers. However, some scientists think that global warming is actually bringing global cooling one step closer. One model of climate change showed maximum warming of the Arctic Ocean. Freed from ice, water evaporates and falls in the form of snow into the subpolar regions. New glaciers are forming. Scientists believe that in the end, the warm Gulf Stream will not be able to break through their barrier from the Atlantic to the polar seas, then the ice sheets will begin to grow rapidly. When the next ice age eventually arrives, it will undoubtedly bring about profound changes to our planet, much like the transformations that occurred during the last glaciation over 10,000 years ago. The ice sheets drew water out of the oceans, resulting in lowered sea levels. Many rivers were transformed into vast valleys and lakes within continental landmasses, and land bridges emerged, connecting continents. Regions that would be affected by the next ice age, if it were to occur, would face substantial challenges. According to certain hypotheses, temperatures at the equator could drop by approximately 10 degrees Celsius, and in northern and southern latitudes, they might plummet to as low as minus 50 degrees Celsius. Across extensive areas, such extreme cold could devastate crops, potentially leading to widespread famine. Furthermore, the global geopolitical landscape would undergo a dramatic upheaval as lower sea levels would trigger significant shifts in international borders. Scientists project a staggering drop in ocean levels by about 150 meters. This transformation would unite Malaysia and most Indonesian islands into a single landmass, rejoin Sri Lanka with India through a land bridge, and merge Ethiopia with Yemen, reshaping the world map in unexpected ways. But what would happen to North America? Imagine if you lived in Florida and California where the sun shines all the time, and walking out one morning and seeing the landscape of Alaska. Such climatic conditions would even happen in the south of the United States. Almost all grain crops wouldn't survive there, and food supplies would quickly run out. 
Those lucky enough to find food would perish from the cold because power stations couldn't survive long in such cold and would be shut down. Buildings would fall into disrepair and eventually collapse. Huge crowds of people would move south. Presently, the situation doesn't appear as dire, thanks to the remarkable progress our civilization has achieved in recent centuries. We've achieved feats like space exploration and landing on the moon, so why should we be incapable of addressing the challenges posed by a looming ice age? Various intriguing ideas have emerged regarding how to survive such a scenario. One such idea involves introducing greenhouse gases into the atmosphere to raise the planet's temperature, and chlorofluorocarbons may hold the key. This mixture exhibits higher efficiency in this regard compared to carbon dioxide. Additionally, glaciers could serve as a new energy source. On hot days, a towering mile-high ice wall would naturally begin to melt, producing a significant volume of falling water. This water could be harnessed to generate substantial energy. Envision massive hydroelectric power plants mounted on tracks running parallel to these mega glaciers, equipped with pipelines along their tops. Turbines would capture energy from the descending water, which could then be distributed to eco-farms located at the glacier's base. Furthermore, through genetic modification, it's feasible to develop unique crop varieties that can withstand extreme cold conditions. This would empower farmers to achieve bountiful harvests even in ice-covered regions, facilitating human adaptation to such environments. However, it's worth considering that we might not ultimately require all these measures. A conceivable scenario is a mild ice age, although the next ice age might take on an entirely unprecedented form. Scientists emphasize that the current state of our atmosphere is heavily laden with greenhouse gases and particles from various substances. These compounds not only hinder the sun's rays from reaching the planet's surface, but also contribute to heating up the atmosphere itself. As these substances accumulate, there's a possibility that Earth could resemble a colossal baked Alaska dessert, with a frigid and icy interior, but a warm outer layer constituted by the atmosphere. Explaining which specific scenario the next ice age might follow remains a matter of ongoing investigation for scientists. Nonetheless, it's imperative to recognize that Earth's history is marked by a continuous cycle of cold and warm epochs. Drawing from these historical patterns, it's apparent that winter may be drawing near. The extent to which humanity can weather the impending catastrophe hinges on our preparedness and proactive measures. What do you think about another ice age coming? Leave your opinions in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.